What's up everybody? Welcome back to 401 News. This is week two for Friday. I'm doing pretty good this week. So give me my props, people. You know, so anyway, um, I'm B Craig. I'm your host, 401 News. We talk about what's going on, entertainment news, politics. Whatever come across my uh, agenda for the week, and I try to post it every Friday so you can get some kind of uh, some kind of news before your weekend starts. But let me get this out of the way. If you are new to the channel, please like, comment, share, and subscribe. Um, we talk about so much stuff here on Four One News. If you want to be part of the family, please join the family. But without further ado, let's go ahead and jump into the news. So this first, uh, as I continue to reconstruct uh, 401 News, I want to uh, change the first thing to just, the first thing we're talking about is some positive news. Like, the news be so uh, so negative all the time. We want to try to gain some good positive stuff. So let's jump right into some positive stuff. A, this weekend is football season. Football season starts today, which is uh, September 5th. Football season do start today. So for those y'all that is into football, hey, I know your weekend's about to be bombarded with nothing but just football. But talking about football, if you remember DeMar Hamilton, that is the um, that is one of the players that collapsed on the field during Monday night football. And he's he he you know he collapsed, he went unconscious. Uh actually he went to cardiac arrest on the field. They brought him back to life and so on and so on. Um, but he hasn't played since then. So, to, so, uh, so news reporting is saying that he is back. He'll be back on the field for this upcoming uh, season, and it is good to hear. I think it's been over a year now. So, it is good to hear that you know he's got himself back in shape. Now he can get out there and um, replay uh, football. So, Demar Hamilton, good job, but. That was, I think, that was a scary day for everybody in the football league and everybody around the world because this man heart stopped right there on the field, and with them, with all the good people, all the paramedics and doctors and things like that, they brought him back to life. So that that is good things about um, the doctors and paramedics and the first responders they have on the football field to help these help these players. But with that being said, let's go ahead and just throw into some entertainment news. Let's get on, just get it. Let's get it going. Let's get it popping. Let's talk about it. First and foremost, you already know, I said it last week, I am a Beyonce fan. And yesterday on September 4th, she celebrated her 43rd birthday. Bruh, she is 43 years old. But that body's like a 21 year old. You gotta notice that body's like a 21 year old. You know y'all see it like, I, look, I don't know if she had some surgery or not, but bruh, her body like is like a 21 year old and she's looking good as usual. She's looking fantastic. She's looking fabulous. And the key thing, she had three kids and she's still looking good like that. Come on, Beyonce. 43, looking good. Make sure you take the time to wish her a happy birthday if you get a chance. But also, on top of that, there are some sad news as well. I don't know what y'all was anyone tracking, but on August the 30th, Fat Man Scoop passed away. A lot of you young people don't know who Fat Man Scoop is, but Fat Man Scoop was probably one of the best DJs around. He was on so many, um, he was on so many remixes, so many albums, so many um, rappers' music. He was the hype man for a lot of rappers. He, when I tell you, you went to the concert, he had you so hyped for the concert, you forgot about the main, uh, the main audience. But um, he passed away, like I said, he passed away on, on August 30th. Um, they say he collapsed on stage right after the concert. So there had been no calls to his death yet, but his real name was Isaac Freeman III. So please keep him and his family in your prayers. As I was trotting through my, um, my Twitter, and I was trotting through Baller Alert, which is on my um, Instagram, I, you know, I, I go through it because they talk about a lot of stuff, but then I saw this one thing that, like, it made me stop and think, right? So, I'm going to read what the what the topic said first, and then we're going to talk about it. It said, Hulk Hogan suggests fans should forgive him for his racist scandal. People look, right? I, I was a Hulk Hogan fan back in the day. I ain't going to BS you. I, I was one of them, Hulkamania, yeah! 
Do you feel like he was? He had the electric fine when it came to sports. He was my generation of The Rock and, and all those other superstars you have today. But as time goes on, you and I both know people really show who they really are as time goes on. And I don't know if y'all remember or not, but I want to say it was probably two, maybe three years ago that he he used the N-word several times. And I think he was either with his wife or with his girlfriend or whatever. But he used the N-word several times. You damage your career on that by itself. And then you want people to forgive you? Bruh, no. No one's going to forgive you for showing your racist side. Like, it, it's like, no. It, it's not going to happen. So, and then he just signed another contract with the WWE. So, bruh, you, okay. So, <laughs> this, this, is what I, this is what I feel about Hogan, right? I am 40-some years old, right? I grew up on Hogan. I grew up on Hulk Hogan. I was, like I said, most of you know I am a 70, I'm a, I'm on the line between 70s and 80s babies, right? So I grew up with Hogan. Hulk Hogan has to be all of around, bruh, that man got to be at least 70, 80 years old. Let me see how old this man is, because this man has to be between 70 and 80 years old, because this dude is old. I mean, like, he was, already, if he was wrestling, I mean, he had to be over 21 when I was growing up, so... Let me see how old is Hogan. Let's see. How old is Hulk Hogan? Because this man has to be in his 80s. This man is 71 years old. And you're still trying to wrestle? Get your old ass out of wrestling. Go sit out somewhere. Bruh, ain't nobody forgiving you for none of this, for none of this crap neither. So go away. All right. Um, I don't know, uh, y'all. Uh, this came out today as I was driving on our street today. Rich homie Kwan, he passed away at the age of 34. Bruh, he was, th like, they getting younger. Like, people are dying younger. And it is like, woo. It is like, woo. Uh, all you can say is woo because the man was 34. Like, people, I, I, I suggest, man, I, I suggest you live your life to the fullest. Live your life like it is the last day because, as you can see, you don't know when your last day is on this earth, but man, 34, bro, that's, that's, that is, uh, that is, that is some stuff, man. I, I was not a rich homie qual fan, but man, that's, that is, that is some stuff. And I wanted to pull my phone up for this last article because this last article was, was very much funny to me. And so 50 cents, so there is some some media or some news that came out in regards to 50 Cent and his son. And his son looked just like him. His son looked, his son looked pretty decent. I'll throw a picture up there. But his son is, is, uh, is asking for additional child support, right? So his son was getting paid. It came out his son at 27 years old. He was paying his son $10,800 monthly. And his son said, that is not enough. What are you doing, bro? You getting paid $10,000 a month. Half of the people in the world don't even make $10,000 a month. And you ain't getting paid that kind of money and you're still complaining about how much more money you need. Bro, this is, this is, this is, this is ridiculous. So 50 Cent said what he decided to do is, uh, so he offered him to set up a business to earn $1 million a month, but he refused. How, like, I don't, I don't understand it, right? So is it, is it this generation? Or is it his relationship with his daddy? Because now you got to look at his relationship with his daddy was this generation. Because if, if you, if you're complaining about ten thousand dollars a month and then your dad set you up for the business and you're making over a million dollars a month something don't make sense so i believe it's more to that story like i said it's always his side 50, with 50 cent side his son's side and the truth is mixed in somewhere in the mix and we probably don't know and really be honest with you i really don't care they're like rich people problems and i'm not rich so it's not my problem whatsoever but anyway, that's all the news I got for today. Like I said, I won't keep you long. That's all the news I got for today. So, 
Please like, comment, share, and subscribe. Final thought for the day is, I said it, live your life to the fullest. We don't know when our last day is. And the Bible said our days are numbered. So you gotta live it like it's like it's like it's your last day on earth, man. Like if you if you love somebody, tell them you love them. If if you wanna go skydiving, go skydiving. If, if you wanna just be at home and do nothing, be at home and do nothing. Just enjoy your life and be happy. With that being said, I appreciate each and every last one of you. I will see you on the next 411 411 News. Peace.